Hi, I'm Craig from Furniture Clinic and in this video we're going to look at the airbrush. How to set it up and how to use it. Let's take a look. This is a great little hobby airbrush with some good features. It is perfect for applying the leather colourant and the leather finish to achieve some professional results. In the kit you get obviously the airbrush itself, instructions with a handy little nozzle cleaning pin to clear any blockages, a small hose and gas can adapter. So to set everything up, the hose screws directly on the airbrush here and the other end attaches to your preferred air source. It can be powered by a compressor like this one. The hose will attach directly to the end here. Turn it on and you're good to go. If you're using a larger industrial compressor, you're going to need a thread adapter to reduce down to 1 8 BSP. Or the airbrush propellant can be used to power the gun, in which case Take your adapter, make sure this metal plunger is unscrewed all the way out and then screw this to the can, making sure it's tight. The end of the hose will screw onto this thread here, screw down the plunger, you should hear a little hissing sound and then silence. If you can hear any air escaping from anywhere, check all your connections, make sure everything's tight enough. If everything sounds okay, then you can set your gun up. A really good feature with this airbrush is the fact that the glass jar detaches, which means filling it up and cleaning up is super easy. To fill it up, simply take the top off and pour in the leather colourant. to just under the shoulder. Pop the lid back on. You should notice there's a small hole just behind the nozzle. It's important to keep that hole clear otherwise you'll have problems spraying out the product. Clip the gun back on and the next step is to adjust the spray pattern. You can do this by adjusting this nib here. When this is lowered all the way to the bottom, nothing should come out, so just raise it slightly by unscrewing it. A little bit of product should start coming out. That's perfect for those smaller detailed areas. Raise it a little bit more, and this is this perfect spray pattern for the larger areas. To achieve this, the nib needs to be adjusted so that the very top of it is in line with the center of the hole in the larger nib, which is attached to the gun. When you're happy with the weight spraying, now it's time to start using it. The fun part. First things first, holding the gun correctly. The product sprays out of this end, so make sure you have the glass jar facing forward. Also, try and hold the gun like you would a pen, using your index finger as a trigger finger. Try not to use your thumb, otherwise you'll have less control while spraying. Also, if you're spraying a horizontal surface, make sure you angle the gun slightly at a 45 degree angle, or straight like this. Never hold it like this. When you finish spraying, clean up is super easy, just pop the jar off, unscrew the lid, this siphon pipe detaches along with this o-ring inside of the lid, unscrew the nib so it comes all the way off and then all you need to do is flush everything through with warm water. It's a simple tool, not much can go wrong. However, some people do run into problems. For example, they say that it could start spitting or it works fine and then stops again. First of all, if that's the case, check the product. Make sure you've got enough product in there. Fill it up. Also, the next thing to check after that is this little siphon pipe here. Simply take this out, spin it around so it's facing the opposite direction, then you'll get a constant flow. If you've checked all that and you're still getting spitting issues, maybe it's worth trying a paint filter to strain out any particles or dust which may have fallen into the product. Filter with 190 micron mesh is the best type. One last thing to look at is the viscosity of the leather colorant. The thickness can change due to the ambient temperature and other factors. The perfect consistency would be something between milk and single cream. So if it does seem a bit thick, as our products are water based, they can simply be thinned down with water no more than 10%. That was the airbrush. If you have any questions about it or any of our other products, please get in touch. Thanks for watching.